Hello folks, welcome back from the one, the only, I am a hobo Tom. And look at this. Ooh yeah. I'm the macho with hobo of them all yeah. Yes, I'm finally back to doing what I well initially wanted to. In a business model. I had like five I, I can't believe I've been doing this for like five years. Has it been five years? Has it been longer? I forget now. When did I start doing this? The tail end of that. Jeez, it might have been six years. That's impressive, folks. Normally after six, normally after five years, I get fired. But you know what? It's time to talk a little bit just like the image showed but WWE money in the bank so hit my well, this time oh I have to I should I should ask permission first it's here oh no, well, Italian hot dogs are hot dogs with pepper and potato and spicy mustard. More so, how would you feel about doing a live stream reaction show on Saturday night as well? It's up to you. Yep, there we go. We might have a special guest. Having a friend over. See if she wants to do a reaction show to WWE Money in the Bank. I think it starts at 8. I know we're going shopping, lunch, fishing. So yeah, 8 o'clock's not too bad. Then I'm making Suzy Q Clubs. And she wants um, unicorn lemonade. So yeah, I just might have some blue Frenches followed up by some blueberry bourbon sours, or I don't know. I'll figure out. I'll figure out something. I always do manage to figure out something. In fact, I even got some yard work done today. That's impre That's impressive. So enough about me. Time to talk about some predictions. Let's see here. Um, if money in the bank, I think they only have one, two, three, four, five matches. Of course, money in the bank matches tend to be the longest. They're the ladder matches. I'm not gonna see. I haven't. Seen, I haven't seen WWE in a while. I've either been working or at the gym. That's never a good sign. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see here. That's the Stone Cold Lock. Match of the night. And yeah, snooze. Generally, <laughs> whatever the women do, for the most part, I take a nap through. But yes, let's get to the card. So according to my vast internet research, and remember, I'm not going to talk about heat wave, I have put the Ixnay on anything. So, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about NXT, period. In fact, just for a little bit yesterday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Actually, right now it's Thursday. A whole other time issue, though. But yeah, last night was the first night... In a long time, I actually watched NXT, and I think I watched the two no-name women's matches and a woman's promo, and I'm just like, meh. Um, I know they've had supposedly some good things happening. They've had, of course, CM Punk and Cody Rhodes going to NXT. 
Ratings bump. But yeah, I put the squash on NXT. And I gave my reasons for that almost a year ago. In fact, just to get on a very quick side tangent, NX, neither NXT nor WWE has been, or a, uh, yeah, AEW hasn't been around. Daytona Beach. Jeez, I think for like two years? Yeah, there's a big hiatus there. I think it's the Daytona Beach crowd is a very, very unforgiving pro wrestling crowd. But enough about that. It's about money in the bank, baby. Oh, no, we'll start off with my match of the night. And that is, of course, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, let's see, I did not write down the participants. So give me a couple seconds here to review my notes. Well, I want to search web. That's what I want to see. Um... There we go. So for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, it's going to have Jay Uso, Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, Cien Almas, Chad Gable, Drew, Ma Drew McIntyre, and yeah, L.A. Knight. Um... My prediction, that's his real name? It's hilarious. Yeah, I thought so. Um, wow, too many names. But yeah, you know what? Yeah! 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 Ooh, yeah! No, that's the macho, ooh yeah, which is different than from, yeah, LA Knight's going to win. I don't know. I just, they have to do something with him. Eli Drake has all the personality. He has the look. He has the in-ring skills. The heck is that? I don't even know what those notes are. Oh, whatever. But yeah. Yeah! yeah. yeah. LA Knight's going to win. Um, then I guess we'll have... I'll toss in this match here. The Intercontinental Championship match. We have Sami Zayn. Oh! Versus Braun Breaker. The son of the Steinerts. Who just should be called... Braun Steiner, that would be so much better. Yeah, um, I have a bold prediction. Braun Breaker's going to win. They're pushing him to the moon. Intercontinental Championship's not a bad way to go. So, yeah, Braun Breaker wins. Then we'll probably have the woman's money in the bank where, if you want to, I'll probably be sobering up or that'll be my bathroom break match. I don't know, WWE doesn't have a lot of bathroom break matches. They just have bathroom breaks, period. They have a lot of commercials. It's weird. If you want to, you can take a snooze through this match. So we have EO Sky versus Chelsea Green versus Lyra... Va what kind of name is that? Lyra Valkyria... Versus, I'm taking a look at some of their real names. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad they chose, or had someone chose their name. Versus Tiffany Stratton, versus Naomi, versus Zoe Stark. You know what? Just for pure... Really, just because she has a personality... 
I have Chelsea Green winning. Because she just seems that she could do the most with the money in the bank briefcase. I'm not that high on Tiffany Stratton. Zoe Starks, mid card. Naomi's coming back though. I think she has to put in a little bit more work. Although, th that sounds bad. But she just has to get readjusted to the WWE style and schedule. That sounds better. But yeah, you know what? Chelsea Green wins Women's Money in the Bank. Then we'll have Damian Priest versus Seth freaking Rollins. Man, I'm glad he took off from the gym. Freaking forearms. And cramping. All that freaking heavy lifting, man. That heavy lifting. I don't know, man. Gets to you after a while. Yeah, we have da da uh, Damien Priest versus Seth freaking Rollins. Seth's going to stay away from a while. Damien Priest will probably wind up feuding with Drew, Drew McIntyre. That'll be good. Damien Priest wins. He retains his championship. And then probably what's going to be the main event, if it's not the men's money in the banks. Remember, I have no idea about the order of this stuff. So we have Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Because the adrenaline's in his veins. Versus... The man who hears voices in his head, Randall Keith Orton, versus, oh, and, I'm sorry, and Kill Steen Kill. I mean, Fight Owens Fight. And Kevin Owens versus the Bloodline. And the Bloodline, let's see, who are they listening as the Bloodline? Solo Sokoa. Tama Tonga and Tonga. <laughs> this is a oh, oh, this is a, almost a Freebird rules. You have even better than that. Solo Sokoa and possibly Jacob Fatu along with one of the Gorillas of Destiny. And you know what? The Gorillas, wait a second. Let's see here. There's only one way to properly introduce them. So I have to do my proper introductions. Oh, Oscar, Delta. Yes, that's right, folks. You have Tamatanga and Tongaloa, the gorillas of destiny. Again, I always have to give Bullet Club their props because that was when they were cool. They were just curse and that was thoroughly entertaining so yeah I'm gonna have the bloodline day one is there two sweet four life so yeah I kind of broke my camera there for a second broke through the fourth wall it's always for life. Yeah. So those are my predictions for Money in the Bank. Um, news and notes, there might be a guest. So again, you guys out there in the internet community, be nice. Or there will no longer be guests. Or I better be nice. Or she better be nice. Or I won't have a show anymore. And then, also... Well, it's the 4th of July, baby! So, yep, look forward to a special from the Daytona Beach Bonfire League about that. 
again, I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom, and I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my soon-to-be future videos, or at least tomorrow sometime. Fourth of July, baby. I was born on the fourth. Fourth of July. That's a whole different song. Whatever.